So uh, obviously you're performing the entire piece. This is a monumental sonata. This is not like others, uh, right? right. How, how long are you playing this? Oh, very recent. I started like the, um, this winter. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Is that the, the plan? You have a plan to, for the concerts? Uh, or not really because uh, I just want, you know, because of the pandemic, we have a lot of time, you know, everything a plan is uh, postponed. So it's a good time to learn something you, you don't want to learn usually. <laughs> want to learn something as monumental as this piece, right? Yeah, usually we don't, we're always rushing for competitions or programs, you know, so we don't have time to, to learn something like this. Congratulations. This is fantastic. Fantastic achievement. And this, of course, was extremely interesting. Uh, to deal with it in general, right? Okay, so we, we of course, we have limited time and uh, uh, you're going to uh, play today. You're playing only first movement. Uh, uh, so let's try to do the most of it, right? To make the most of it. All right, so uh, there's a constant discussion about the speed of this movement. This is metronome uh, mark marking of uh, Mr. Beethoven, which is unplayable. This is really extremely fast. 138, have you tried? This is his metronome actually. Yeah, I tried it. One of, yeah, and you know, and of course we have the classical way of performing is with monumental speed, more or less like you do. And uh, not really, uh, uh, because a lot of people actually uh, didn't believe that this marking is a right one. And somebody was telling that something is wrong with metronome of Beethoven or something like that. But of course, I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it is virtually impossible, virtually impossible to play like this. Uh, how, do you know that Beethoven would say, yeah, metronome, metronome is only true to the beginning, to the first bar when I write metronome. Then, you know, he wanted to, his music to be performed freely. Actually, that's what you're doing. And so in the lyrical moments, you're slowing down and then you get back to the tempo, which is absolutely right. Now, we have to think about, make a decision, first of all, how it's going to go. Right? Maybe experiment with the original tempo. And then let's see how we weigh the, the speed, right? It's all about proportions. How fast, how slow, how loud, how soft. Yeah. And uh, I really suggest that we try to play it. It's, it's alla breve, allegro, alla breve. And actually, at a slower tempo, it also sounds alla breve many times, right? You're not playing one, two, three, four. You're playing on two. However, let's try to make it absolutely crazy. Let's try to make it as fast as you can. 138, a little bit slower, it's okay, but approximately in that area. No, it's 138, but it's probably the fastest we can drive. Well, right? but, but, you know, it's impossible, but let's, let's do it less than that. But this is 138, I prepared. Pum, pa, pum, pa, pum, pum. Yeah, this is great. So it's one pedal, uh, depending on the. This is much better. I mean, it's really it, it, it's it's something uplifting, something unbelievable, something really special. You see that? Yeah. And then all this vibration of the uh, strings, it, it's it's overwhelming. Don't change the pedal. Don't change. Uh, play, play play the, second bar. Uh, the continuous pedal, two bars, really important. It sound like one idea, just third higher, the second one. It's not a new moment. It's it's both of them as one thing. One the whole thing is one solid thing. So don't make this break too meaningful. Continue the the uh, the uh, the uh, speed. Yeah, try it. 
like that. And don't stop on the last note. Of course, it comes there, I continue, yeah. Don't make it tenuto, don't make it portato. Now, this is also a problem. Uh, how, how, it's very hard to play, but I think it's, play, it's possible. You just have to be, uh, you know, I don't know, practicing through two octaves up or whatever. But I think it's not a big problem as people also talk about it all the time. I think you can do it easily. It's like the, uh, the beginning of the 111 also. <laughs> Something like that, yes. And Liszt Sonata, right? So, uh, it's, yeah, it's okay. I mean, uh, no problem. I've heard people play. That's not right, obviously, right? Let's try again. A risk, and if you miss some notes right now, it's not a problem. Yeah? <laughs> That's great, okay? Continue. Let's try not to, of course, there is also, it's a one, so we will be thinking all the time in this piece, how to connect this material, yeah? Yeah, uh, of course there are all the time the slurs, but uh, you know, at least here we have four different slurs, right? But make sure that this, uh, again, you continue the speed. You can do it a little bit slower, of course, more lyrical. But start connecting. Don't make crescendo, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah you. So did you hear on, at the bar six, you make, a, you make an accent. Be careful. Uh, it's also, that's why the slur exists, so you can make diminuendo. Yeah, beginning of the slur is very important, very even. Yeah, and calmer. And legatissimo, you know, sometimes in order to change, you know, to, to make it more legato, you can use every quarter. Uh, again, it's very hard for me to say because your microphone gives me the dry version of your playing. Yeah. But just in case you can experiment uh, on uh, making every single quarter pedal, legato pedal. You, mean, you know, legato uh, is when you do this connection a little bit mixing and then switching off. You mean after the slur of the right? After. No, no, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm making as legato as possible. Yeah, you see, and I appreciate a lot that you're phrasing uh, correctly. So that's very nice what you're doing. Just don't make so anything special, don't make extra accents there, all right? And please, show you maintain piano. Don't go anything that you phrase it, yes, it is growing, yes, it is, I mean, growing, I mean, it, it, it accumulates, right? But don't make Christian. Try, try again. And imagine who would be playing this in the orchestra? What instrument would be playing that? That could be different, different versions. It could be violin. And then the second time, uh, let's say, could be woodwinds, right? When, when you go octave higher, right? So imagine all the time color. To me, it helps a lot. I hear, you know, other instruments. Let's try. Because, you know, our piano is so even. So one, you know, it's no matter what we touch in the modern piano, what, what, what key we touch, it is always the same sound. So we have to make magic things to make it different all the time. It helps depending on the touch, depending on the pedal we use with it, we can make miracles. You know that, right? Okay, let's go again. And a lot of pedal, changing pedal when you can, of course. Thank you. 
continue. Uh, so this is better. Only uh, I didn't hear I didn't hear the clarity of the sound. It should be soft. It should be piano when you come, go, go back, come back to a tempo. But please color, because uh, all this is in, in the in the piano sounds really attractive. Okay, make it more light. Uh, make more light in your sound and try to make it extremely legato when you can that moment and left hand as well then so then this you know and let me just follow then then all this development development comes you see this slur in the left hand is endless yeah it continues it kind of pushes the music it's another confirmation of that he really wanted speed to be faster catching catching it You're coming not to fortissimo, be, be careful. Not yet. And then, by the way, this is not your ending point. This is just the step up. B flat, right? You finally came to this B flat after the wandering through alterations and uh, yeah, this is genius of Beethoven. But here at the, and then it continues, continues. Until there, you understand? Don't restart the music in this B flat major. Yeah, let's try to do it. Now, if you can start a little bit slower and then at the end, uh, make it up to back to the tempo which we, were, we are trying to make today. This is uh, better, much, much, much better. Do you understand? Right? And it is easier to connect everything if you have that idea, right? Uh, you can, uh, can practice and make it, because you're used to play it a bit slow, you can make it even more brilliant and flying. In a, no, you know, this, it's very hard to play, but for you, it's not a problem. And then when you come, uh, you see this, every time on the second beat, uh, in the whole notes, there is a sforzando. Do you see that? Yeah. So uh, maybe uh, that's the movement. And uh, please don't play staccato. When you're practicing, uh, practice without pedal. Can you play the first bar without pedal? You will understand that without pedal, you will have to hold these notes. And more again, more uplifting. Uh, uh, this one, uh, that movement. You know, it's very. It, it was very interesting for me to study with Carlo Rischnabel. Uh, many, many interesting things he was saying uh, and details, which we're polishing the style basically. And um, one of them is really he was very, you know, uh, very, very consistent in asking us to perform his way, this for Sando. And probably his father, Arthur, did the same. This just the movement of, it's when you, for Sando is a fast accent, right? If we play just like this, it doesn't come out. For Sando is a fast accent with the sound uh, diminishing after it right away. Something like this. Uh, you see, you will never be able to bang it if you do this because you already prepare it. Prepare your hand. You understand? Try to do it. It's just one little movement. You kind of you you already think about this for some before you play. That that movement helps. 
And... No, release. You, you do and just release right away. Yes, that's it. And you see, this situation can be used everywhere because sforzando is not representation of how loud it is. It's an accent. Sforzando could be done on the pianissimo level as well. And this, this moving helps, you know, I can do differently, you see? I can do less, I can do more. All right, something like that. Now, another thing to think is, when you come to this B flat, it is forte. You know, he repeats every time when the forte comes back, one time forte, one forte, not fortissimo. So you imagine a lot of life there, you hear this uh, greatness, but you never play fortissimo. Okay, so let's go. And then really staccato, staccato and a special piano. Yeah, relax, relax there a little bit. Yes, and very in time in alla breve, there is some sort of differentiation. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You remember this alla breve goes. So, tam, pa, nam, pam, 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 pam. Tell you very good. So, and then don't even try to make crescendo on piano. When you have, uh, I think I do it a little bit at the the last time, right? I was going to ask this. Do yeah. I, can we do that or are we stay? No, don't do, don't do this. Don't do this. It doesn't help. It's okay. It's chair. Don't do it. All right. Maintain it the same as many contrasts as you can, and then please. When this is a long th thing comes, three bars, crescendo, start piano. One, two, one, two, one, two, and go to forte. And then sforzando. Okay, do we, uh, do we change a pedal on, on, the, uh, on this one? Absolutely, do not use one pedal there. I mean, like, we can change. Do you want to like sound more articulated, or we do pedal like this? Or... No, or no, like... no, no, no. You know why? Because then, then uh, that's your pedal. That's your contrast. This should dry, should be dry, and you will use direct pedal only on sforzando. Okay. Please, and then, let's go from here. And please remember. Remember your tempo. Go. Here is a possibility. What, uh, what, uh, so, what addition do you use? Handling. Okay. Yeah. 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 Huh? We have different notes? Or? No, 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 no. This is also, you know, if you can get uh, Barry Cooper as well lately. You know, it is used everywhere. It's interesting just to compare things. Yeah, but in any case, uh, Henley should have staccato here. In any case, right? So staccato. Don't try to play. You see, this is going to be different. You play staccato, and then you play absolutely not. That will be your change. You know, it's like, you know, here it's like almost if you were playing pizzicato, uh, uh, grabbing. Yes. Yeah, we don't use the entire hand. Yeah, and sforzando is sforzando, is an accent. So, and I think it continues. You know, when Beethoven writes a lot of sforzando, it almost ma makes a little bit of crescendo. You know, string musicians, they know that. 
or pulling a lot of sports and it means crescendo as well. So you can do it's accumulation of the power. Let's try to do it. And by the way, it's just 40 in the beginning, right? So, so it's not, not a lot, not like beginning. Fortissimo and forte. There are two different floors. All right, let's go from here. Get it excited. Like, you know, accumulate the energy. Yeah, don't, don't go, don't hold it. Go for it. Yeah, don't be afraid of the pedal. Look, uh, this one pedal is again Beethoven, and we have to continue playing it. In if you were playing forte piano on forte piano, then you would never have problems because the sounds don't mix as well as in the modern piano. Just use flatter pedal right away. Don't put it down all the way. So they they did. It's too much. Already it's too much pedal. Can you use what is the way that the uh, dampfer uh, should should touch the string a little bit? Yeah, no problem, right? Yeah, just not, uh, less, not, not too deep, you know. Yeah, just close to the string, the damper. Yeah, don't open. It always use a lot of pedal, no problem. Mixing is not, it becomes uh, an, not an issue. Just don't change. All right. Then let's go back to tempo. That's another opportunity. But do you have 40 or fortissimo in, in, in Hamley? Well, have 40. Ah, so don't play fortissimo here. Just free, just free. Yeah. Don't give all that. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, of course. Uh, emphasis on D major, but also don't make fortissimo out of it. Continue. Okay, it's a big change, but he doesn't want any sforzando, any fortissimo. He didn't write it. But, you know, feeling is right. Your feeling is right, but don't make a big, huge deal out of it. Continue. For yeah. Yeah, and then... Piano. As much as dry as you can in the beginning, then you can start using some pedal. Yeah, you see, there's no pedal at all. Yeah, and here also not a big deal again. Yes, you know, we a little crescendo, don't make it also huge. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is all proportions. The piece is enormous. Don't give all your cards. Tell you, tell you, um, play the first tempo. So let's go. Continue, continue to be preoccupied. And I ask you to do something. Change pedal when uh, this is so beautiful. And then play from your left hand only. Try to make it connected and make crescendo. And then, of course, after that, after after that, uh, no, uh, nothing, no emotion there, just a slur. But make crescendo. Yeah, now make crescendo. Also, right then, continue. It's like a waves. You know, what whatever wave, it's a water wave or any 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 you feel. You see this in the very, very bright. It becomes bright 
And then the whole point, immediately piano. So I would say more pedal two bars when crescendo is, then you do diminuendo, there you take out the pedal. And then I hear almost no pedal. Just do we like, uh, do we take off the pedal completely or? or no, no, you can, you can manipulate, of course. If, of course, otherwise, otherwise it's going to be not going to be very, um, yeah, yeah. you know, elegant. But uh, you, you know the idea, more pedal, less, more pedal, less. And then again, you put them in the harmonic perspective, all of them, right? It's a continuation. It's, a, it's again, harmony is a life. You build it, all right? Let's go from here. Go, don't be afraid. Yeah, here the way of connecting, the slur will mean also speed, connect to bars, breathe, yeah? Yeah, you see, that's, that's, that's what's great. I liked a lot of sound, but what I didn't like that. And then when piano came, I still heard the bass. Uh, so we should take it out? Absolutely, you, you must take it and immediately, mm -hmm. immediately, yeah. Yeah, so basically here, already no pedal when you do diminuendo. Okay. Understand, right? So that's something like that, right? And also change you. Don't, don't play only one pedal, change a little bit. And, Yeah, you see, do you understand the idea? So all this, you know, shower of shower of notes and greatness and brilliance and warmth at the same time. That's it. So this sonata is extra. is completely different uh, to to just the ideas of writing. Right now, let's go to the next point. Uh, please start. From the previous bar, offbeat, and listen. Uh, who is playing also in the end? And who is playing this? Don't make any crescendo. It is all piano, only different register. Legatissimo, break, and then you know your woodwinds answer. This is very interesting because these are non legato. That's the contrast. However, that what it builds the entire phrase: two replicas and then the long one with quarters uh, non legato. Oh, you mean you don't you don't have legato here? No. Oh, I have legato. <laughs> here we go. You know, just take several editions. Cooper is great. Okay. A lot of research, right? No crescendo whatsoever. Yeah, and no legato. What, 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 what? It's beautiful. So I would say every quarter pedal. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, and then. Always here, uh, you know, that's why it's so important for us to go to concerts all the time or listen to music all the time. I'm saying, listen, uh, uh, not piano music, but orchestra. And we get this ear train. Of course, good orchestras we have here. <laughs> good orchestras, yeah, where good musicians are in. So, uh, because, uh, yes, but what about that? What, Listen, you know, pay attention to every single detail. Yes. Yeah, that's simple. I mean, be simple. Don't think too much about it. Just open your ears. Be involved. Yeah, involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, so let, that's very good. Very good planning. Very good planning. Now, uh, please imagine uh, more, make more pokuri tarando. Not a lot. Okay. And just in... It's like portato you play in Chopin, right? This is the same thing. We have to play them as a phrase, but really evident non legato. And then who is playing that? More brilliance here. Mm -hmm. But piano. Yeah, very nice. So, and in the left hand, uh, so more legato, if you could. Much more lyrical, however connected. And then uh, come here. Uh, you see how here E flat E natural. It's a, it's 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 again the reason. So much so much color, so much a revolution happening in every moment, which we kind of not seeing usually because it's, the tempo is such a, a fast tempo. Let's go. Some pedal. Yeah, go back to tempo. Very nice. Don't get, don't go and don't play crescendo earlier. Mm -hmm. And even uh, so, when you can have this motif, uh, so in the left hand, uh, so you have uh, okay, this is uh, uh, basses and cello, more legato and more piano, and then in. So obviously also colors, this one and this one, more brilliant, more beautiful, more light. Okay. Yeah, and so, and then. So, uh, so usually it's on the higher uh, places you, you, you always go for. Uh... I think, no, it's just, yeah, it's not Beethoven. It's just, I think it's going to sound, there's strings shorter. Strings. Different uh, temp, temp. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, just, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. More light. Doesn't mean forte, yeah, just yeah. For, you know, in Schubert, it all the time he used that register for brilliant. And um, you can use more pedal in the upper register, in the higher register. All right, good. Still con constructing, and then when you have this uh, in the beginning, don't play too loud. I mean, it's nice that you get this voice out. Um, it's still piano. Then you you grow, and then come back to tempo, primo. Remember, make sure that this is really great. Yeah. Tempo. greater you see much more exciting bravo yeah now and then and, and you can see um, your sforzati your sforzati right and then, that, that movement fast movement yes and then and then it comes back to forte in gmail 
no fortissimo and then immediately cut pedal cut pedal completely because it's subito piano it's forte piano okay uh, like this uh... Yeah, immediately and molto articulato, articulato fingers. Otherwise, we are going to lose them. Yeah, no, no crescendo. Articulato. Wait, uh, the, the right hand. I was no, I was. I remember a, a kind of technique. I don't know if you use it here. You know, after a strong note, we do like uh, like this. That's right, forte piano. So no problem, right? Uh, so, we, uh, so we replay the note like half. It's you know don't yeah it, not all notes will appear. Yeah, yeah it's it's a trick. The gate comes from Schnabel. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it it works. Uh, you see, it works. It's sort of sforzando, the other way of sforzando, right? The forte and then you know you play. It's not a problem. Yeah. Don't think too much about it. So we don't, so we don't hold like this. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of release some of the notes. Okay. So we don't, we don't like, we don't hold like the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So don't don't use so much pedal. That's what I mean. Change pedal as many times. Yeah, no, because no. the next thing, the beauty, that's we need cantabile there and dolce. Don't make it big. Very good. So more even, slower, but not three times slow. Uh, yeah, and don't make too much rubato uh, like you do phrasing like this. It's beautiful, but I think it changes a bit stuff. A little bit. So just thought, I would phrase, by the way, over the bar. I would phrase over the bar from C. But without accent, right? Without accent in your mind. Yeah, tell you, tell you. And then legatissimo also this technique of a pedal, very sticky pedal when you change it. Uh, for example, the C minor, okay, uh, you can hold, right? Uh, this also, uh, now in, I would change, I change a little bit later than I take the note. Okay. So, because as, especially I really appreciate the pedal here. Legatissimo, you know? Espressivo and cantabile and dolce, you see? Yeah, this place is so important. There are three words. He, he, he doesn't write just cantabile, no? He doesn't write just dolce. He writes cantabile, dolce, and espressivo. Yeah, so for him, is really something overwhelming. Yeah, so let, let's make it more expressive, but not too much rubato. It's just, I think it's all about sound. Uh, if you left hand a little bit slower, I mean softer, and your pinky, really vibrato sound. Uh, more clear. Try, try to play it special. Now, can we connect it uh, with the tempo? It's brilliant. Play it brilliantly before. That, that one.
Shaoyang, let's come back again, especially here. We have to come back. Yeah, so here I think through the through the trio. Here, here probably. And the timpani. Pedal, Beethoven, uh, and then piano, no pedal. And then quite a, quite a lot of ah, this is fortissimo. Yeah, and so, and you will phrase it. Uh, uh, from the second beat. You understand, right? Uh, like this. You will be thinking this way, all right? All right. So this is, again, you come back to this unbelievable, uh, glorious and uh, uh, exciting music. Mm -hmm. Let's continue a little bit. I had a question. Do we, uh, do we for bar uh, one uh, from one, 106, do we repeat the, uh, the G in the middle voice of the right hand every, every bar? Like this? Unnecessary. Uh. In the thrill? In the trill? Yeah, or do we just trill like this? Don't worry about it. I think it's a lot of. Nobody will know it. We don't do it like this, right? No, this is the same. Waldstein, uh, remember? Yeah, I mean, some people do the, the, the trill as well. It's not know. necessary. You, you, how can this? It doesn't bother at all if you have some pedal. <laughs> okay. Why? I mean, I mean, you have to be really pedant to do that. It, it, it makes also an accent. I don't think yeah, it's. I know, I know. Absolutely not. All right, I said, okay, why don't we continue, continue a little bit? Uh, la, la, la. Yeah, so uh, this is your third one. This is, there were two. And then that one. So can you start from there? Uh, la, la. Tempo. Yeah. Yeah. There's, you know, there's a possibility. Yeah, possibility of the, of the, uh, you know, another octave here. Yeah, it should be. I played the wrong thing. <laughs> Menace, go. Very fresh and straight. Don't make it music. It's forzando, right? Now, show you. After that, really, this is not many times we before we had pianissimo. But this one, especially pianissimo, which, which is participates in some kind of long uh, term. This is very important. Really magic sound. Although very active. Mm -hmm. Try, try to make this left pedal, whatever you can do for it. Make it move. And so, of course, second bell. Uh, hold it. And so it's a very soft. Yeah, yeah. So. Again, you're coming back in tempo. Yeah. 
and maybe it's a, it's a, it's a you know, brass. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit different. Uh, continue. But very correct. So you played fortissimo first time and second time fourth. Correct. It, because I think the idea is just to give to different groups of instruments again, orchestra. Yeah, this is some brass, and this is somebody else. You know, some other instruments. Uh, however, one pedal, right? Oh no, I changed. <laughs> Don't. Okay. One, like beginning, right? Good. And then hold the pedal until fugato. Really, really nice, really good. This fugato you can play uh, if you, you know, you always have to think how you come back to the previous tempo, the tempo primo, right? Um, and so we already here have a this. We cannot play this, this tempo fugato. It's, it's not, it's not possible. It's going to be breaking everything. It's awkward, right? And actually, musically, it works to make it a little bit more sustainable. In the in the fugue. Yeah, so that exactly like you play. Don't don't try to play 138 there, right? But make it also a little bit more portato everything. In my opinion, it's better than than jump all the time. Only one one staccato. But still think about maybe string instruments. So you know, when you when you do this don't make it aggressive, I would say. Now, every single time the subject comes, listen really well. And then it starts growing. You see this crescendo data. And then, of course, you show again, right? And then it comes back. Then finally, you have this intensive forte. Make sure that it's like it's a fugato, right? So uh, we have to hear voices, independence of the voices, obviously. All right. So build it, build it more interesting. And so uh, let's go from forte, by the way, and more forte, more articulato it becomes. Don't make it too lyrical, a la, let's say, Chopin. You mean the piano? No, yeah, you play beautifully, but it's a little bit too much uh, sudden rubato. Uh, connect, build, continue building. Don't be, be sentimental. Much better. Don't change the structure because when you make it so lyrical, it changes the, the continuation of the structure. Now, can you add one little thing? Slur. And then. Uh, uh, always quarters of. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and this one, I mean. Slur, right? Yeah, slur starts from the second beat on the in the bar. Okay, it's different from the 
Yeah, write it down. And then from the from the second note of the bar. Yeah, from when the piano starts, from the second note slower, slower, and then this note separate, and then. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. And then, and then you continue. Very articulato now. Uh, so, and, uh, all this uh, sforzando is important, but it is forte, not fortissimo. However, very uh, strict, very rhythmic. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Very nice, brilliant fingers. But remember, uh, fortissimo will come uh, all here, only here, and it continues. It it is not the point of of beginning. It's yeah, a, it's it's, a, it's on the way, yeah. on the way, and so you will never finish until you know the, the, uh, <laughs> until here until you resolve. Let's try to build it with a lot of excitement, uh, but not too forte. <laughs> And please, uh, this, that thing. Very good. Yeah, and help with the pedal. The pedal is in the previous bar, right? Yeah, so that's something like that. I think we, we should finish, but I think it's there are some ideas for you to, you know, to, to for this first movement. Yeah, then, uh, of course, uh, uh, big, big changes. This is uh, this is revolutionary again. This is so beautiful. Now, uh, when you come to bar, do you have bars? Yeah. Uh, what I think is just a bar 235. 30, 234 to 35. So you can play that moment uh, a little bit more lyrical and a little bit slower. And then come back little by little to the tempo. At the very end, when you come here, uh, <laughs> here is already should be a tempo. But you see, this is so, uh, so important moment here. And then all this inner voice, especially this G flat. This is so important to hear what is happening in the middle voice. So don't try. Yes. Oh, I have a G sharp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's both okay, I guess. Yeah, it's but it's it's known that it's a G flat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Okay, Shayok, brilliant. Um, so it would be interesting journey and, uh, you know, to cover all, all movements little by little, right? Yeah, especially the third. <laughs> yeah, the most important. Yeah. Bravo, okay. Looking forward to seeing you be safe. Yeah, it has been, uh, has been a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's hope everything goes, goes back. <laughs> yes. Thanks so much.